Item number SCP-3905, Object Class Euclid, Special Kitting Procedures. A storage shed has been constructed around SCP-3905's location, and Foundation agents employed by the City of Sacramento are responsible for preventing unauthorized access to it. Due to SCP-3905-A's remote location, a small research vessel outfitted with several months of food rations is to be the only resource supplied for study of SCP-3905-A. Description SCP-3905 is a public garbage can located in Sacramento, California that displays anomalous properties whenever a standard 355 ml aluminum soda can, commonly referred to and measured as a 12 ounce can in the United States, is deposited into it. In all other instances where trash is deposited, SCP-3905 behaves identically to a non-anomalous trash can. Soda cans deposited into SCP-3905 will leave local space-time and to be transported via unknown means to SCP-3905-A. SCP-3905-A is an uninhabited and inaccessible tropical island located in the territorial waters of the Philippines. Attempts to reach SCP-3905-A by non-anomalous means have failed due to the invisible barrier that manifests 5 meters off of its coastline. This barrier prevents all forms of solid matter from passing onto or off of the island, including instances of SCP-3905-B. Both SCP-3905-A and the soda cans present on it hereafter SCP-3905-B displayed anomalous properties. The following has been observed from SCP-3905-A via monitoring from the nearby research vessel. SCP-3905-B instances display signs of sapience, appearing to wirelessly communicate with one another and move about SCP-3905-A by sliding or jumping along its surface while being constantly engaged in a state of celebration or reverie. SCP-3905-B instances can perform many actions that would normally require arms, legs, or a greater height, such as limboing. SCP-3905-B instances often accomplish this by bending their aluminum frame, only to return to their original condition when the task is completed. A laptop, DJ turntable, and speaker system have been observed to function without power near the center of SCP-3905-A, continuously playing party-themed music. Examples include Feeling Hot 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 by the Merry Men and Let's Get It Started by the Black Eyed Peas. A banner with the words Sugar Celebration is attached to the top of the speaker system. On the western end of SCP-3905-A, a plastic tube protruding from the ground and labeled the sweet stuff continuously produces a substance believed by SCP-3905-A researchers to be alcohol. SCP-3905-B instances have been observed to lie up behind the tube while taking turns drinking its contents by filling themselves with it. SCP-3905-B instances apparently violate the laws of space-time while consuming the alcohol, as they have been observed to repeatedly consume far more than would be able to fit into a 355mm can without spilling any contents out. On the eastern end of SCP-3905-A, another plastic tube labeled the Aspartame Challenge can also be seen protruding from the ground. This area is frequented less often than the western one, and SCP-3905-B instances who consumed the contents of the tube almost immediately expelled from themselves while showing apparent signs of displeasure. SCP-3905-A has been observed to have a rough social structure based on the soda brand presented by SCP-3905-B. Well-known non-diet sodas Pepsi, Coke, RC Cola, apparently issue orders and occasionally physically harm less popular or generic brands such as 
refresh, usually by breaking off the soda tabs, or involuntarily pouring the contents of the eastern plastic tube into them. A small pit approximately 4 meters deep and labeled Diet Douchebags is located a short distance away from the speaker system. The pit contains cans of diet soda or sugar-free brands such as Zevia. These soda cans are inert and do not display the same anomalous properties that SCP-3905-B instances do. To date, no diet or sugar-free cans have become instances of SCP-3905-B.